Hello, my name is Dan, and today I am going to tell you about heat. So, this is the map of heat. Have you ever touched a hot bowl full of hot water? Now, this is it. When you touch it, do you feel hot? Of course, it's hot. First, your hand is cool, but when you touch it, touch it, which molecules inside it is also hot. And this water is very hot too. This, the hot heat, transfer to your hand, which make your hand hot. But now I'll sh show you why a molecules is hot. The hotter the water is, the hotter the molecule. First, you can see the molecule. It's too small to see with your eyes. But you can see, so see the water first. If it is hot, you can see bubbles popping, popping up, and those are called molecules. Why they are popping up very fast? Because of heat. <clears throat> the hotter the bowl is, the faster the molecule will move. It moves around the, it moves around the bowl like this, like this. But a bowl contain cold water like this. Even that, you you still can you still can see the bubbles, which are still molecules, but slower. If you see in the hot bowl, it will have heat vibration, and the bubble will pop like this. But if it is um, in the cold bowl, it will pop like this. Still fast, but slower than the hot bowl. So, if there is a thermometer, <clears throat> the higher the red line is, temperature is, the more hotter it is. If the cold bowl is just a little colder than hot, it will just be like that, that, um, a little bit. But a very cold bowl or even freezing, it will went down to this. Now you see the, now you see how the thermometer work. For example, this is the cup, a mug, for this example. First, it is very cool. No, no hot, no cold, just fine. But then you start to pour hot coffee inside. So the coffee is hot, which there are warm heat. There are warm heat. So the hot warm meat transport to this mug, making it hot. And now, <clears throat> do you have a microwave oven? So this is a microwave oven. How do you heat it? There are some buttons there too. Um, to just to make it work. To make it work, and. After making it work, how do we heat the food? Heat the food up. There is a bill there, a bill there, which electricity come in, which there is very little heat, and 
it come in a line through there. It go up a plane. Now it turns to heat. The plane make the electricity turn into heat. And now it the heat go down the field and warm it up. There's one more kind of oven, which I don't know what its name is, but it still has one job to do. If you cook the food, cook the food, or heat it, it takes the heat outside, especially in winter. This kind of oven is a little useless because in winter there's less heat inside. But this microwave oven uses heat by itself. It doesn't use heat from outside. Maybe it is a solar energy yeah. oven? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's solar energy. And because in summer, there's a lot of heat, so it can absorb heat from outside. That's right. And still the same from the igloo, which, which people often live there. <clears throat> Living in igloo or worm, but living outside is cold in the snow. But there you will lose the heat. When you come in, there are blocks made out of snow, which which it can block the cold, cool heat outside, which <clears throat> people people often sleep in the igloo. But one more way, but that cool heat will usually stay down below and hormones usually stay <clears throat> up. So people sleep on on the top of the igloo. Now have you learned about what is heat? Thank you for listening. Goodbye.